And I am so honored to be here with Secretary Raimondo, who has been a leader in working to help our nation recover economically from the pandemic. I'm thrilled to be here today to announce a half million dollar planning grant that's going to help create jobs right here in Atlanta and move our economy into the future. And I'd be remiss if I didn't remind folks that these are investments that Georgians made possible when they sent me to the Senate and made it possible for us to pass the American Rescue Plan. As has already been said, elections matter. They matter here in Georgia, and in this case, it mattered for the whole country. Because if Georgia had not stood up the way that it did, we wouldn't have been able to pass the American Rescue Plan, which literally put shots in arms, supported our municipal governments, supported small business. And now that package, the American Rescue Plan, that provided expansive relief to help uh, us during the most difficult days of this pandemic, uh, we are now working hard to include the types of federal investments that would create new economic opportunities and create new jobs and keep our economy going strong beyond the pandemic. And so I'm proud to see that this funding uh, is flowing here to partners like Georgia Tech, the Russell Center, and Spelman College, to name a few. Isn't that a wonderful collaboration? That's, that's what progress looks like. And so this is a wonderful vision. It recognizes that entrepreneurship and equity go hand in hand. In order to build back better, you have to build back from the bottom up. And so this is a wonderful partnership. The Georgia AI Manufacturing Technology Corridor is an idea that this funding will help make a reality, a new economic hub here in Georgia that will improve manufacturing by embracing new artificial intelligence technologies. And I want to take a moment to break down exactly why this is so awesome for our region and our state. The advancements this proactive economic cluster will generate will not only help lower capital costs for manufacturing, making it cheaper for new innovations and entrepreneurs to get to the marketplace, but the advancements spurred by this planning grant will also help expand production and decrease costs for existing companies by giving us new manufacturing technologies. And let me be very clear, these federal dollars are going to help create and support new jobs up and down the supply chain right here in Georgia. From the workers who will innovate new manufacturing technologies to the entrepreneurs who will create new companies from these innovations and all the jobs in between to fabricate and maintain this new manufacturing technology and more. What an amazing ecosystem of innovation, entrepreneurship, and possibility. So here's the thing. This is just the beginning. Know that I'm going to keep working with my colleagues to make even more federal investments in projects like this that will empower economic development in Georgia and create the jobs and economic opportunities that will help Georgia workers, families, entrepreneurs, institutions, and our companies to thrive. We have, in addition to this work, an Innovation and Competition Act, USICA, the United States Innovation and Competition Act, that we have to get over the finish line. It has passed the Senate. We've got to send it over to the House, balls in your court. And I know we'll get it done and move this forward in a major way. And I'm working with all of my colleagues here to get that done as quickly as possible. We've got to get Build Back Better over the finish line as quickly as possible. And so I'm going to hurry up and make my way back to Washington and push my colleagues to pass the bill. In the meantime, this federal grant is a great step forward towards strengthening equity in our tech and manufacturing spaces. I'm proud we got this done but more is on the way. And so now it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce an amazing public servant. She's been a governor, and now she's the Secretary of Commerce, and we're proud to welcome her to Georgia. Would you welcome Secretary Gina Raimondo?
Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So if seeing is believing, I'm a believer. You guys are incredible. I have been here this morning, and what I have seen has convinced me that what you have here in Atlanta is incredibly special, and I am proud that we've chosen Atlanta as the place to make this announcement, and I'm proud that we've chosen your coalition as among the 60 to get one of these planning grants. And I have total confidence in what's happening here. Um, I do want to begin by thanking your fantastic federal delegation, Senator Warnock and Congresswoman Williams. You should know two things about them. Number one, they're a pain in my butt, which is good for you. Because <laughs> it means they're constantly calling me, saying, what are you doing for Georgia? Hey, Secretary, is Georgia in on this? Is Atlanta in on this? So you should know what they do in Washington is work incredibly hard on your behalf. So please join me in thanking them for their work. <laughs> and to your mayor, I've been a long time admirer of yours. You, you led this city so beautifully through so many tough times. Um, I know it's probably a bit of a relief to be moving on, but we're all so grateful for your service. And by the way, to all the girls and girls of color who've been watching you along the way, thank you. Thank you for that. And to you, you up for this? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor-elect Dickens, uh, the city's put their faith in you, and you're going to do a terrific job. And President Cabrera, thank you for hosting me and for the incredible work you're doing. Um, the only sad news is my husband's a University of Michigan alum, so if he knows I spent the whole day cheering on Georgia Tech, I'm going to be in big trouble. Uh, anyway, to Jay, thank you for hosting me, and of course to Alejandra and my, and my team. You guys are doing a terrific job. So here's the thing. The Russell Innovation Center is a perfect place to host us, and thank you to the family and thank you to your team. Because even though the unemployment rate is down to you know, 4.2%, and that's good, not everyone has been included in the economic boom. And our work's not done until everyone is included in the economic recovery and the economic boom. And that means black entrepreneurs, that means folks who live in rural Georgia, that means people without a college degree, that means people without a high school degree. Until everybody in Georgia, everybody in America has a shot at a decent job and a decent job where they can take care of their family and be able to be an entrepreneur, then our work isn't done. So what you're doing here, Jay, and your team at this Innovation Center is necessary to the rebuilding of America. And that's why this is so important. I spent the morning at the Georgia Tech Advanced Manufacturing Pilot Facility, and thank you uh, to the team. I had the opportunity to see with my own eyes what was happening there. And as your senator just said, um, they are in the coalition, which is part of winning the grant today. And in that coalition is Georgia Tech, obviously, Spelman College, the technical college system of Georgia. I love that. That is important. That's the part nobody's getting left behind. If you go into a technical college, you're a rural Georgian, you're the first kid in your family to go to a technical college. These jobs are for you. They're coming to you. That impressed me so much that that was part of this coalition, uh, the Russell Center and others. It's an incredible coalition. It's a coalition committed to equity. It's a coalition that will create jobs. But also, it's a coalition with a track record of success. So their focus, as Senator Warnock said, is to bring artificial intelligence and advanced manufacturing to communities that have not had access to these jobs, to technical training to workforce training, to jobs in this field. And the effort's goal is to bring back rural, suburban, and urban communities across your state and get Georgians back to work in these good paying jobs. And then what I saw this morning convinced me, and what I'm seeing here, Russell Center, you all know what you're doing. This isn't just happy talk about creating jobs. It's not just a business plan on paper around equity. I saw it in action this morning. It works. You have a track record working with partners, working with companies, getting jobs, and we know that if that's why we chose you, because putting more money into what you're doing just allows you to do more of it and bring more opportunity to more people in Georgia. 
So here's the way this is going to work. This is a billion dollar challenge. We're calling it the Build Back Better Regional Challenge. Um, that's what's at stake for you guys. You're getting a half a million dollars now. That's to help you get planning. We're going we're gonna to spend this, invest this billion dollars in a handful of communities around the country. So 60, you plus 59 others get the planning grant. And then uh, another couple dozen are going to get anywhere between 50 million and 100 million dollars. That's what you're competing for. That's what's at stake to really blow out your vision. So that this is truly, this billion dollars, I don't know if it's ever been done before. Alejandro would know. The Commerce Department has never before given out a billion dollars, a grant of this size, to do local, regional economic development. This is a once in a generation, <laughs> first of its kind. First of its kind effort. By the way, having been a governor, I love this stuff, so you can figure out who may have designed this program. Because <laughs> um, here's what I believe. I love being in Washington. I love working with your delegation. The action happens on the ground. The action happens on the ground. You all, the local community, the community colleges, the regional colleges, Georgia Tech, the local folks, the high schools, your mayor, coming together to make it happen. So we want to get this money out to you. Um, and I want you to know that uh, the, other six, the other 59 winners look a lot like this. In other words, we put a priority on bottoms up grassroots. We put a priority on equity. We put a priority on making sure the money reaches every nook and cranny of America, coastal, rural, urban, black, white, girls, women, folks who've been overlooked. Because at the end of the day, if we do our job right, we'll invest this billion dollars, creating thousands of jobs across America, and bringing the promise of innovation and good jobs to a lot of folks who have been left out. So uh, I like your chances. I, I shouldn't say that, but what I saw here today is amazing. So um, 20, you're one of 60 now. One of 60. They got a half a million bucks. Now we're going to go from 60 to 20 to 30, and you have an opportunity to get up to $100 million. That's a lot of jobs in Georgia. So I'm proud of you. I am proud to be here today. I want to thank you all. And um, I'd love to be the first cabinet secretary to come back to Georgia, if you'll have me. All right. All right.